Hi, and welcome back to part two on this introduction to writing VBA code on brettwees.com. In the first part, we just started writing the very basics of VBA code. I showed you the basics of the Excel object model hierarchy. I showed you how to explicitly and implicitly reference different objects and how Excel will assume which objects we are referring to in certain situations. So for instance, in the second macro that we wrote, we didn't explicitly move down the object hierarchy to access the range object and copy what was in cell A5 to cell A6. We let Excel decide, based on our current position in our current workbook, which worksheet and which range we wanted to operate on. So if we were in worksheet number one, it would copy that range A5 down to A6. If we were in worksheet number two and we ran this macro, it would copy that range from A5 down to A6. So we're just going to keep going with a few more examples so you can hopefully get the hang of it. We'll call this subtest three. Again, if we want to make it a comment that Excel will ignore while it's running the macro, we put a single quotation in front. And in this macro, we're just going to do a simple, simple action. We're going to turn the uh, font in cell A5 of sheet one to bold. So we're going to turn font to bold. Instead of referencing book one.xlsm as we did in this macro, we're going to reference the workbook by the command this workbook. So we're going to write this workbook dot worksheets one sheet one sorry dot range a5 dot font dot bold and we're going to set that property equal to true the bold property either has a true or a false value it's a boolean value it can either be zero or one true or false so we're going to set that property to true and when we run this macro it's going to turn the font in a5 to bold and we'll just do that right now. Press Alt F11 to get back. So we see now that cell A5 is bold. So we'll go back to the VBA editor. And this the this workbook object is just another way of referencing a workbook. When we use the this workbook command, what we're saying is the workbook that this code resides that we're writing is the workbook that we want to reference. So in this case, it's going to be book1.xlsm. That's the workbook where this module that we're writing code resides. And to test that, I'm going to introduce a very useful feature in the VBA editor window called the immediate pane. The immediate pane is this pane down at the bottom of our screen. If you don't see it, head up to view, down to the immediate window. You can also get there, or you can also display it by pressing Control G. This is a very useful window for testing single lines of code. So say we wanted to know exactly what the name of this workbook was. The syntax for the immediate pane is print, and then whatever line of code you want to evaluate. So we want to evaluate this workbook's name. We want to find out what's the name of this workbook. So we can print this workbook dot name. That's the statement we want to evaluate. We print it to the immediate pane by using the print command, a space, and then whatever line of code that we want to evaluate. So we push enter, and it'll show you book1.xlsm is the name of this workbook. That's where our code resides right now. Another way to access the immediate pane and to test our code, if we um, start a new sub, test four. This time we're going to use the debug.print property to print a line of code directly to the immediate pane. This is very useful when we're testing our code and we have variables and we want to know what certain properties are without actually executing the code. So if we go debug, dot print this workbook dot worksheets dot count and this is just going to print the number of worksheets in our current workbook to the immediate pane so we press enter we're going to run this line of code and you'll see in the immediate pane after we ran that line of code it printed this worksheet this workbook dot worksheets dot count it printed how many worksheets are in the workbook to the immediate pane and we can find out really quick what the value is of this particular statement of VBA code. Say we wanted to print to the immediate pane the names of each worksheet. Get rid of that three. Actually we'll just, we'll just write a new sub. Call it test five. And we're just gonna put we're just gonna declare a variable and put it in a for each loop. 
Um, don't worry about this. The main, the main point of this um, exercise is to show what the immediate pane can do and how we can use it to test our code. So we're going to declare ws is a worksheet variable. We're going to put a for each loop in. Here comes our debug.print property. And the code, the line of code we want to evaluate is we want to evaluate each worksheet in this workbook's name and we want to print those names to the immediate pane. End our for loop. And that's that'll end our sub. So now when we run this code, what we'll see is it'll print each worksheet in this workbook to the immediate pane, the name of each worksheet. So we go through it, print sheet one, print sheet two, print sheet three, and then exit the loop and exit the sub. So just remember this debug.print command is very useful for testing our code, and this immediate pane is also very useful. And you'll find yourself using it a lot when you're writing VBA code and when you're testing VBA code. So I think that's a basic introduction to writing VBA code. Remember, if you don't have any programming experience and you're learning how to write VBA code, it's just a lot of trial and error. Use the immediate pane to test your statements, see what works, look to the help file, look online. If you've got a piece of code that keeps giving you an error message, type that code into Google. You'll get lots of search results. There's lots of great forms out there, forms like osgrid.com or mrexcel.com. They both have great forms where you can ask a question and get quick answers from people with a lot of knowledge of Excel and a lot of knowledge of VBA. I want to thank you for watching this screencast on brettweiss.com. Have a great day.